was really good. We back with the boxing clinic. More speaking on some uh, comments that Dana White made. We're going to speak on it real quick. And, um, you know, I'm going to link the article in the description that you know that it's true. Um, you know what trill is? It's the word between truth and real <laughs> for my people that don't understand the lingo. But um, apparently Dana White wants to start doing some things with boxing. But he says no more of that crossover crap. He said if you're going to do boxing, do boxing. You're going to do MMA, you're going to do MMA. And I, I guess he don't want to make it a fad because, you know, he don't want his MMA guys going to boxing, getting embarrassed. And, you know, and it hurts their stock in MMA. And then they're not marketable anymore and they're damaged. And, you know, vice versa for boxing. He don't want to get into running a, a clown circus show. And, uh, you know, a lot of boxing fans are reacting to this as a victory for boxing. They said the UFC was going to replace boxing. You can look at the um, video games. But EA Sports stopped making fight night and they invested a lot of money into UFC video games. And, you know, UFC fans, you know, were very excited. And one of the things about that made UFC so marketable was that there were, you know, you've seen more, especially in America, you've seen more than just black faces in there. You've seen white guys, you've seen Mexican guys doing it. And it didn't take a lot of, um, you know, you didn't have to start doing things since you was 12 years old, you know. You had to be a master of a lot of things. You had to master things quick. So everybody had their weak point, you know, in the UFC, in mixed martial arts. You know, some guys were good at wrestling. They had to learn some some stand-up boxing, some 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 Muay Thai, whatever. Some guys was good at Muay Thai or boxing. They had to learn, learn some wrestling. So it kind of evened out the playing field. And it made it interesting. It was hot. And the biggest question that was coming from the UFC and MMA was it, was it a fad or was it really here to stay and here to compete and, and eventually replace boxing? And we're starting to get our, our answers. We talked about how Canelo outsold all the non-pay-per-views that UFC did this year. They did 2.4 and then two pay-per-views. Canelo Alvarez did um, 4.5. So, um, you know, definitely. Um, and what's up, definitely boxing is, is definitely king. And it's it always been king. UFC just, you know, they had a nice little hiccup. And it seems to be on a downfall. You know, now with Dana White kind of waving the white flag saying now he wants to start promoting boxing. He don't want to step on anybody's toes. Now they need a means to survive. He did sell the UFC and he he's the only one that can run it. So he sold it. And I believe it sold again. So, um, you know, he, he got to reinvigorate and reinvent some things. And why not jump into boxing? But he doesn't want to run a circus show. And I understand that. You know, um, but the circus might pay more money than what MMA and UFC did. But he knows that it's only uh that's only really a fad. That's gonna wear off. People gonna get tired of it. So he's a very smart man. And um, you know, he understands that, you know, MMA gotta do something different. You know, Ronda Rousey, Conor McGregor picked it up. They both lost. <laughs> UFC and then one loss in boxing and one loss again. So, um, you know, they need a new star with John Jones going down with the Coke thing. Um, they're taking a lot of hits, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, social media ain't doing them any favors. And, um, you know, you gotta switch the hustle up. Like, any, any good hustler in the streets, you know, that hustle thing, you know, you gotta, you can't just sell one thing. You gotta have multiple hustles and multiple incomes. And now he's exploring a career and working with boxers. And, um, he formed a good relationship with Steven Espinosa and, and Mayweather Promotions, Leonard Ellaby, Al Heyman. They can help him go the right route, especially with Eddie Hearns trying to throw shade at Al Heyman. And some comments that he made. And, you know, him thinking he can dominate the U.S. And the only reason he can have a chance is because his popularity, Anthony Joshua. And that's what HBO wants. But, um, you know, this guy can, you know, help ease, you know, Eddie Hearns. Uh, injection into the American boxing scene if they want to uh, muscle Eddie Hearn out. Because a lot of Eddie Hearn fighters are now going over. Former Eddie Hearn fighters are now going over to Frank Warren and James DeGale and um, Carl Frampton. i name a few. And um, we'll see. We'll see. But um, this definitely is, you know, it looks like Dana White is waving the white flag. And a lot of UFC fans don't, don't you know, they don't want to hear it. But it's the truth. You know, it's, it's looking at that UFC MMA is a fad. And uh, it's not a trend. It's a blip. And uh, nothing wrong with that. So hopefully they can pick themselves up and, uh, you know, find something to reinvigorate them, find a new star. But at the end of the day, they run running dry. Their numbers are falling really falling and Bob Aram is taking shots and saying that I knew it wasn't here to stay and I, I never really knew you know I really never did you know but when I know when they made Conor McGregor versus Mayweather they was desperate and now that biggest star in McGregor who wants to go back to boxing versus Paul Amanaji Dana White wants to kill that because he knows if McGregor gets anywhere type of big payday again he ain't coming back you know he don't want to come back for one two three million four million dollars five million dollars he won't 15 20 25 30 million dollars to fight now even in MMA 
And Dana White understands he messed up by letting him fight Floyd Mayweather. He made some money, a lot more money uh, off of it than probably McGregor about the same. But um, now he's understanding that McGregor's going to want to, to, to those paydays. Nobody wants to eat steak and go back to eating Vienna sausages just to use a, a soft analogy. Um, he want to continue eating steaks. He want to continue making money. He wants big money. If you want him to fight certain guys, he want more control. He want more money. He wants different things. He wants to be compensated and treated differently. Now, and now Dana White got to find a reason how. Because if Conor McGregor walks away from the MMA and UFC and never wants to do that again and, um, you know, continues boxing or goes into the sunset, the UFC is messed up. You know, Rousey gone. They got to create a new star. And, um, you know, that's up to Dana White. He's the man with the plan. And um, let's see what he do with the ball in his court. We gone.